Hello, this is lecture 1B of the Advanced Computer Architecture and Advanced Microprocessor System course. And here we are going to be looking at the CAD tool we are going to be using for our labs, which is the Vivado. So we are going to look at how the Vivado is installed and how to acquire the license to use the Vivado. Now, first of all, to actually begin installing the Vivado, um, the Vivado was actually designed by a company known as Xilinx. So at first it was called Xilinx, but now Xilinx have been acquired. I think some few years ago it has been acquired by AMD. So now it's now kind of AMD Xilinx or Xilinx AMD. So to be able to download um, the Vivado uh, software, you have to actually go to the AMD website and create an account for you to be able to download the software at first it was just uh, the Xilinx website but now you have to go to the AMD um, website to be able to download the Vivado now after you first of all um, create an account you first of all click on create an account and then you fill in your name, your first name, your last name, and then select the language and then the location you are in, and then you actually submit. Now, after you've um, submitted, they will actually send you an email for you to activate your account. And this email is going to come from, I think, Xilinx. It's going to come from Xilinx. So you have to just go through your mail and click on activate mine. Xilinx um, account. Now, after that, uh, you have to go to a website again, the AMD website, and then there are two profiles, right, for the downloads. We have the AMD profile and then the Xilinx, Xilinx profile. So you click on the Xilinx profile, then click on downloads. Now, here there are different different versions um, of the Vivado software or for hardware design and I think each year a new version comes out but um, what um, I'm using or what you and that is depending on you you can also use what version I'm using I'm using the Vivado 2020 2020.2 now this is actually archived it's, it's, it's no longer popular in, in the Vivado or in the Xilinx website anymore so you have to go to archive and then click on 2020 and then click on 2020.2 this is what i'm using but there are different versions um, each year i think a couple of them comes out now after you've done that you just go to um, click on the xilinx verified installer 2020.2 windows self-extracting web installer now if you're using um, an os other than um, Windows, uh, you have to search for. I think they have different different um, versions for each um, Windows or for each operating system. So you search for that one. But I'm using um, the Windows, so you have to just use the Xilinx um, Unified Installer 322 for Windows. Now, after clicking that, you have to actually input or uh, more details for them to actually verify it uh, you have to input your name your country the address you are in then your phone number and stuff like that and after that you just click on download now it will be stored um, in after after clicking download the, in, the installer will be downloaded and then you have to just go and double click the installer once you click the installer this is what you will see as the welcome page. Just click on next. And then here, um, you have to input the user ID and then the password you used uh, on the AMD's website. Uh, without inputting the username and then the password, it won't actually let you download it. So after inputting the, the username and then the password, you just go to next. And then it will verify if the password or the username is wrong, you can actually bypass this this step so that you agree to everything and click on next and then um, the products you want to to, to select there are 
a number of them. There's Vitis, Vivado, there's the whole, all of them. Now, what is important here is that um, the Vitis is for uh, actually machine learning or AI design, but the, 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 the Vitis incorporates um, the Vivado software itself. So if your design or you're going to be designing um, um, uh, hardware architectures for AI, deep learning, machine learning, then you have to go for the Vitis because it integrates um, some software components for actually designing your, your, your AI application and also it incorporates the, the Vivado for also designing the hardware part and then it helps you or uh, it helps you actually uh, upload your machine learning algorithm uh, easier or simply onto um, your FPGA board using the Vivado tool. But it's so you which is like two times of that of the Vivado. So if you are not going to be involving yourself in any machine learning application or stuff like that or artificial intelligence application, then you just have to choose the Vivado. Even without the machine learning application, the Vivado still is very, very huge. Now, after after you click on, after you select the Vivado, you go to next, and then go to the Vivado HL web pack. Here, uh, then you select some of um, the tools you'll be using. I think these are the the FPGA boards that are available. You just select them all. They are actually selected for you already, so you just go to next. And then go never go to where you want to store it. The most important thing is that the the download size is um, I think here it's about fourteen point nine six gig. And then this is actually what uh, what I use for this tutorial is twenty nineteen point two, right? So this is I think for now the value itself has gone to the value twenty twenty point two is about is over twenty gig or so. So fine. Yeah, a place where your down where your internet speed is high and and then you'll be able to download it easily. Right now go to next and then click on install. Takes a lot of time to be able to uh, download uh, all the packages and, and to be able to install probably five hours also so you have to take your time and uh, you have to it, 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 it doesn't download quickly so you have to actually take your time and find time five hours six hours for it to download so you, you can do it overnight now after that this will be the start page if everything goes right this will be the start page if it doesn't if after installing and everything and it has opened this page then there were errors and then you have to go back to re-download it now after that um you need a license for it to be work for it to be able to work um, or for you to be able to do your simulations and do your power um check your power of your design and then synthesize your design and upload your design onto your pga so go back to the amd website and click on licensing help and then after that you click on Xilinx product licensing site and then click on manage license and then it will open um, the license for you there is a free license I think it has to be up it has to be re-downloaded every year so I'm not really sure but uh, the license is the IAC webpack license so just click on it and then choose the Vivado design suit HL Webpack 2015 and earlier versions. Right, then you click on next and then you go click on next and then the uh, after the whole process the the license will be emailed to you. So you just go to your email and download the license. After that you you go to the the Vivado software itself then click on help and click on manage license and then you click on the new license copy license navigate to where your license was sold and double click it and that is how you install the Vivado and then that is how you acquire the license now you are ready to 
actually begin designing with your v value this is the end of lecture one b thank you